Every child in Broken Arrow has an opportunity to come to our early childhood centers and that's what's really neat about this is that uh, all of our children get that access to uh, a classroom with no more than 20 children in it and a teacher aide. So if you really look at it, you've got two adults to 20 children and uh, you know it's a, it's a full day program. So it's really interesting when you look at that, uh, how much of an advantage that really gives uh, them even in life and, and getting started in their educational career. Can anybody tell me about your commitment that you commit every morning when you come in? I wish to keep my friends and myself safe. Oh, that's pretty neat. So does everybody say that? Yeah, I, I just promise. say I promise to keep my friends safe. Okay. Do you ever get tired? No. No. I always get tired sometimes. Well, you take a brain break. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go first? Um, my mom never ever signs me up for breakfast. She doesn't? Okay. You probably eat breakfast at home though, right? Yeah. What do you have at home? Oh, I love Cheerios. Those are my favorite. I, I like Cheerios with milk. Yes. Me too. How about you? What did I you? I want to be an A in the morning. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's really good. So you eat breakfast here and all that? Um, I eat at my home and sometimes I eat here. You know what I would do when I was little? I'd eat both places. <laughs> I'd eat at home and here. <laughs> You know, I think one of the things that we've done with our pre-K programs is really making sure that all kids uh, are uh, have that equity. They have that foundation uh, to really begin the process of uh, learning. You know, it's so interesting. We know uh, children that actually have been through a organized pre-K program, they're ready to learn. Pre-K is so important because it starts with the early years and early intervention for all students. Um, they get to come and learn the social emotional part of, um, of how to get along with others and how to interact with um, students. And it takes a lot of um, the teachers modeling and giving them the words to say that um, the, early, uh, the earlier we can get started on social emotional peace and that's what we do at least the first nine weeks of school we work really hard to engage the students and learning to speak with one another and um, play purposefully with each other and um, just teach appropriate skills. This is the grade that you get to teach that you get to play, and we say play, but we mean structured learning in a play setting. Um, this is allowing us in this setting to set up the environment for the developmental age that we have, and we get to have fun every day. I mean, my, my morning routine is full of singing and dancing, but we're rhyming and we're doing numbers and letters, and we're active and having fun all day long. So if they're having fun, I'm having fun too. Choosing helpful. Here we go. Ready? A, B, O, B, and C. One more. A, B, and C. Very good job. I mean, it starts with, you know, the social and emotional, interacting with peers. Um, and then once they have, you know, an understanding their feelings and the feelings of their friends um, and how to interact um, appropriately as well with them. Um, once they have that groundwork, then they can build on to the academics. You know, our mantra is literacy, engagement, graduation, and it's 100%, 100% graduation. When you look at pre-K, there's no question that all of those are there. Uh, you can see literacy every place you go. You can see it on the wall. You can see it every place that they're, um, they're really trying to learn how to use, uh, whether it's uh, number sense or how to put a puzzle together, um, how to actually read a book. Uh, they will actually uh, act out different things that they see in a book. So it's just interesting to see that that literacy at even that age uh, that they're learning. 
The engagement, wow. I mean, they're engaged in everything they do. You can't help but really smile and really uh, be engaged yourself as an adult when you go into our early childhood centers. And then finally, uh, the graduation piece. This is such a foundation for what the future holds for them. So when you begin to say, um, why do we do this? Why wouldn't we do it? It's the right thing to do. It's, it, it's giving us a, a kind of a head start in life.